A couple days ago, former President Trump was convicted of 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. The prosecution believes Trump participated in a conspiracy to undermine the integrity of the 2016 presidential election by suppressing negative information, i.e. the Stormy Daniels story. When I first heard the verdict, my first thought was, wow, this is a new for us, new for our country, right? What happens now? The whole thing just seems wrong to me, doesn't it? Well, after taking a couple of days to process this, I've come to my own conclusion. Trump being found guilty by this court is not changing who I'm voting for. I think the court system is being used to stop Trump from running for president, or at least to detract voters from his camp. Even Elon Musk thinks the trial was motivated by politics and not justice. The fact is, every single juror had an opinion of Donald Trump before this trial started. It's impossible for them to be impartial. Their jurors knew they had the keys to potentially stop Trump from running for president or put a label on him, felon, that would potentially detract voters. That's too much power for a juror to have. One juror was even dismissed by the judge because they admitted that they could not be impartial. We've just learned that the judge has dismissed one of the seven jurors seated on Tuesday after she expressed concerns about her ability to be fair and impartial. I agree with Speaker Johnson on this. I think the Supreme Court should step in and fast track the appeals process on this case. The silver lining for Trump is the ruling is only helping his campaign. Rather than detracting voters, it's bringing in voters and bringing in new donors. I think Sean Ryan of the Sean Ryan show said it best. Trump won this election the day he was convicted. Friends, we need to show up on election day and fire Joe Biden.